Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Lexi. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can make a low FODMAP spaghetti sauce. Be sure to hit the subscribe button below and hit the bell so then you can get notifications when my next video comes out. How we're going to go ahead making this spaghetti sauce is take two tablespoons of olive oil. Could help if you open it first. Heat this up. I'm going to take two cans, crushed tomatoes, put it right in the pot, can of diced tomatoes, give it a little bit of chunkiness, a six ounce can of tomato paste I'm going to put in as well. Next, we add in the seasonings. I'm going to do about three tablespoons of oregano. I'll do three tablespoons of parsley, three tablespoons of basil, and then we'll season with salt and pepper as well. Add in about three tablespoons of Italian seasoning. Now the amounts that I'm doing, you don't have to do. It just depends on your own flavor palette. One thing I noticed when looking into the FODMAP diet was that it's hard to find a spaghetti sauce without any garlic and onion. So I figured why not just make my own? For those of you that have to eat the FODMAP diet and you think that you can't have anything that tastes really good anymore, or all of your food has to be bland, you're mistaken. This spaghetti sauce is gonna be really full of flavor. Once the spaghetti sauce is all seasoned up, I'm just gonna let it simmer on low for about 20 to 30 minutes and let those flavors really start to infuse into the tomato sauce. The spaghetti sauce has been simmering for about 30 minutes or so. It's taste test time. Tastes delicious. You can pair this with any of your favorite gluten-free pastas, spaghetti and meatballs, whatever. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Cooking with Lexi.